all signs. Hello, all signs. Okay, let's get started. This is for all signs, general reading. It is not a private reading. So please be reminded to take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate, you can check your other placements. Other instructions to this reading will be up here in this link or on my homepage. And there you go. <laughs> Don't say I didn't tell you so. Okay, let's do this. I am so sorry, Capricorn. In the last All Signs reading, I totally skipped your sign. Um, so I will give you special attention this round. <laughs> Not that the others won't get special attention, but okay. Spirit guides. Let's start with Aries. The timestamps will be below in the description box. Okay. Are we ready? We're ready. Spirit, please show me the most mutual energies of Aries. What are the most mutual energies of Aries? Please show me Aries situation. Aries current situation. What is Aries current situation? Okay, stop there. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, bottom of the deck. Oh, the tower in reverse. I feel like, okay, I just got, I, heard, I just heard got, you got it under control. I feel like you are, yeah, you've probably experienced um, some upheaval. I'm hearing the word upheaval. So you have come out of some challenging time and I feel like you hand it, handled it really well, very consciously. Right now, you are in the process of seeing where things go. Um, this is related to some relationships in your life, to people that have your back, to, to people who support you, maybe your family, important people in your life who I just feel like it's just a re refreshing energy. And I, I feel like It's one of those feelings that you are making up with people or you're just like you probably had, you know, some beef with someone and now it's turning around and we have the fool here sideways. So you're continuing to work on your fears I'm, I'm here, like, why do I feel like this? <laughs> Wait one second. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. Five of Pentacles upright. Okay. Ten minus five. Okay. You're simplifying your life, Aries. You're simplifying your life. And I'm getting the energy that you are taking things one step at a time. Trying to make the right decisions. As you are feeling some new um, refreshing energies. Okay, some advice for, for Aries, please. They want me to pull you this deck. I think I'm gonna give this round a structure. Yeah, we're going to go situation, we're going to go oracle advice, and then tarot advice for Aries. Okay, what can I do to make a difference? There you go. You are making a difference in your life. You're changing the way you handle things now. Just, it's like a whole new you, Aries. What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it? such that every ounce of you screams no more. Wait, I'm gonna read this again. So right, right away, I'm already getting like, it's one of those feelings where you're, you're um, settling into this new version of you. You're still settling in, you're still getting used to it. Okay, 
What makes you cringe when you think about it? Such that every ounce of you screams no more. Where can you create purpose out of your pain? And your action step today will be make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. Yes. Stepping into a better version of yourself, Aries, you might be dealing with a Gemini because I just heard Gemini so, so clearly. Okay. And as you're getting used to this new version of yourself, the fool, I mean, you get to make it like, I'm just getting the idea that create, create better things for yourself intentionally. What tarot advice do we have for Aries? For Aries? For Aries. Okay. So it's a conscious process, Aries. I feel like you are watching everything you say, everything you do. Perfect. Conscious healing. Conscious healing. Self-awareness is the vibe. Self-awareness. Perfect. Um, what advice for Aries? What advice, spirit, for Aries? Mm. Mm hmm Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have the world, we have strength. So they're saying it's not going to be easy, but keep the, keep your, because Aries, you're a fire sign. We've got the Queen of Wands and Ace of Wands here. Keep the fire alive. I'm getting something like, don't lose your passion for this. Don't grow tired of this journey. Stay motivated, stay inspired, do whatever it takes. So like, don't watch toxic stuff that's going to pollute your mind again and take you back to that old version. Just like commit to it. If this is really a new version is really how you would like to move forward. We have the strength in reverse. So yeah, they're just saying it's not going to be easy, but the world in reverse, it's definitely going to be worth while. Because once we turn this queen of wands around, you are going to, you're going to get the chance to be your true self effortlessly. Right now, you will, you will have to put in effort. Um, so I don't know what it is, okay? Maybe maybe you are stepping into a new role um, where you have a new job or you are a new parent, whatever it is, but the, it's you're, you're just becoming a be better version of yourself and this is great. And they're just saying, stay happy about it. Don't lose your fire in this journey. What can I do to make a difference, right? Okay. Who's next? Taurus. Please clear the energy. Please clear the energy, spirit. Thank you. Great. Clearing the energy. Taurus, please show me the most mutual energies of Taurus Collective. Taurus Collective. Ace of Wands again. Okay, like, I just feel like this round is going to be full of aces. A lot of people are stepping into the, a new version of themselves. Please show me the situation of Taurus. Thank you, Spirit. 
Please show me the situation of Taurus. Mm -hmm. Please show me the situation of Taurus. Yeah, I'm getting this vibe, you know. <laughs> I'm getting a vibe of like, are you opening up in, in some way, Taurus? Where I feel like maybe you're standing up for yourself kind of vibe. Um, or saying things that you don't usually say to people. In the In the sense of... I'm just hearing demanding respect. Okay. Taurus. Situation of Taurus. Situation of Taurus. More? One more. Yeah. Okay. So it's like you're... Six, six of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords and Knight of Swords. You are letting go of the past. Um, something does still hold you back, though. So, Seven of Swords in reverse. You're struggling to speak up for yourself, but you are, but you are, because we have the Page of Wands here, we have the Knight of Swords here. It's one of those things, Taurus, where you're speaking up for yourself, but as you do, your voice is shaking. But I, there, you don't want the past to repeat itself. Six of Cups in reverse. Page of Cups in reverse, yes. Um, the Sun in reverse. And the nine of wands. You are you are really very similar to Aries, like just intentionally trying to do what's right for yourself, even if it's something you're not used to. I'm getting um Keep, what's this sentence? But, um, something like you're, you're retaining your dignity. You're holding your self-respect, holding this, this, what I'm getting from this. Taurus, I feel like there are still some lingering energies around you that might get in your head and... Um, I'm feeling like there are energies that are are still trying to step over you, but you are really not wanting to allow this. And I don't know. I feel like cheering you on. I feel like saying, I feel like saying, don't let it get to you. Don't let it get to you. Protect yourself and. Continue to protect yourself. Wow, okay. I'll grab the Rebel deck for Taurus. The Rebel deck for Taurus. It's so noisy. Okay, wait, one second. One second. For Taurus, you know what? Okay, Taurus, this is what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm, I feel like there are so many spirit guides around trying to give me a message. They're like my, there's so many things being said. I feel like there's so many people want, still wanting things from you. You're, and you know, you're used to being the reliable one, but right now you're like, no, no, wait, my pace, hang on. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling because I'm feeling so many spirit guides are trying to like tell me, say this, say that, say this, say that. And it's like, hang on a second, guys. I feel like that. So I feel like maybe that's your environment, but you're trying to stay strong. 
right? You're trying to speak up for yourself and be like, everybody respect me. <laughs> okay. Um, spirit, what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Taurus. Thank you. Detox. Detox. Drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Yeah, there's still some lingering like peoples in your life. And, you know, stay strong. Stay strong. Yeah. Unfriend whoever is trying to bother you or step over you or continue to take advantage of you or use you or anything like that. Stay strong. We don't want the past to repeat it. I feel like you're, you've had enough. You've had enough. You've had enough. Stand your ground, I heard. I heard. Stand your ground. Some tarot advice for Taurus. Okay. Some tarot advice for Taurus. Taurus, what do we have for Taurus, please, Spirit? What do we want to tell Taurus? The lovers in reverse. What do we have for Taurus? Thank you. No. The king of swords in reverse. Yeah. Okay. What do we have? Oh, wow, shit. Okay. I'm going to show this to you, Taurus. So, there's there are still people who, because you're a very reliable person, Taurus, right? Um, we have the lovers in reverse here. Look at her sweater. We got some snakes surrounding you okay i don't not now i'm not saying these are bad people it's just if it's if it's bothering your your mind if if people are not respecting your timing respecting your space stepping over your boundaries we have the king of swords in reverse and the king of wands in reverse the advice here is to i'm hearing retain your self-respect Demand respect. I heard that before. Demand respect. Know what you deserve. Speak up for yourself. Cut off. Cut off the snakes. I'm not calling them snakes. I'm not trying to call them snakes. But just cut off anybody that tries to disturb your peace okay now the lovers in, is in reverse you need to um when you're making choices i'm spending too long on this when you are um deciding what do i do about this person okay this person needs me this person needs me choose What's best for you, choose what's not going to break the flow, break your flow of peace of mind and self-respect. That's it. Clear the energy, please. Clear the energy, please. That was a very needy reading. <laughs> okay. Gemini. Spirit Gemini. What do we have for Gemini? Please show me the most mutual energies of Gemini. What is Gemini's situation right now? What is Gemini's situation? What is Gemini's situation? I did a full reading for Gemini yesterday, so you guys can check that out. What is Gemini's situation, Spirit? What is Gemini's situation? 
One more? Yeah, one more. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, Gemini, Ten of Swords in Reverse. Um, I know this is related to your reading yesterday. You have made up your, you're so certain about a new direction you want to take in life. And there is a change, like for some time you were confused about what to do, where to go, what, how to be. You just had options or you were just not sure how to proceed in life. But some changes, I feel like this was inevitable change. Some circumstances, I feel like there was just this shakeup in your life um, and, and you're ready to move forward. I feel like for some time you were like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But now you are ready to move forward. We have the Hierophant. Um, a decision is being made. You're leaving something behind. I feel like you're leaving a cycle. Or you're, you're, um, you're leaving a cycle behind and entering a new cycle. We have the Ace of Wands here for you. And this new cycle is, is going to be exciting. It's going to be a very exciting time for you, Gemini. Um, but with the Hierophant, as long as you speak your truth and be your true self, there's also something here about teaching. There's something here about learning and teaching. The Hierophant is a teacher. You have some wisdom to share. Four of Cups in the, it's not in the verse. The Devil. Um, be careful about toxic patterns. Be careful about temptations as you move forward in this new chapter in your life. I'm hearing some people will have to go. Some Something toxic has to go. Something toxic has to go. What is this? Um, okay, it's just boundaries. If you're feeling anything toxic or uncomfortable, because I'm also feeling kind of, you just have to have strong boundaries. Know your limitations. Know your limitations. What? Messages do we have for Gemini spirit for Gemini? For Gemini, what is this? I'm what so much fogging, there's like clouds. Okay. Some things are going to be clearing up for you, Gemini. You're still in the process of things clearing up for you. Um, and that's why there's, they said some things will have to go. It's like I'm really visualizing you're stepping into the fog, into the smoke. And then when you come out, like into your new cycle. <laughs> you know, um... Like, like, is it the airport? It's at the entrance. Usually there's like this smoke detector and it's like, they clean you. Okay. In the pandemic, they would like sanitize, smoke you at, in the, at, and I don't know what I'm saying. Like at entrances, there were some special big devices and it's like, you're entering and they're going to sanitize you, smoke you up. As they as you walk through, some shit will have to go and be sanitized out of your new. Okay. You guys get what I mean. 
What do we have for Gemini spirit? What do we have for Gemini? What do we have for Gemini? Protector. Yeah, know your limits. Um, white stag, you are an old soul. Your best friend is nature. Use your intuition to take you where you want to go. Awaken to the powerful force within you. You are meant to create blessings with your magic. Yeah. So you're going somewhere, Gem. You're going somewhere. And you're about to create magic. I feel like this is a very exciting chapter of your life. It's like a level up or a promotion or a, a new opportunity heading your way. But protect yourself. Some, sh some shit will have to go. Like, I heard like, just like, just like Taurus is reading, I heard detox. So essentially, keep your boundaries. What um, tarot advice do we have for Gemini? For Gemini spirit, what advice do you have for Gemini? What advice do we have for Gemini? Ten of Cups Harmony. Um, new home, a new home, a new place of belonging, or just a new. I just I'm feeling so much happiness and positivity ahead ahead for you. That's ahead. And peace. Peace. So you don't want any distractions. You don't want any anything to get in the way of this that's waiting for you, Gemini spirit. Anything else for Gemini? I'm having. I, I really had a strong feeling when I was shuffling this that they only wanted me to pull one card. Let me just double check. Anything else for Gemini? Okay receptivity yeah be be ready to receive gemini conditioning strength you got to stay strong right don't let any toxic energy get in the way or enter the smoke and come along with you <laughs> okay um get ready to receive so much blue so don't suppress your truth. Don't suppress your feelings. That's, that's, yeah, five of one. Yeah. Boundaries. Who's next? Cancer. Cancer, clear the energy, please. Please clear the energy. Thank you. What energies do we have for Cancer? Show me the most mutual energies of Cancer. What's the situation of cancer, please, Gary? What's the situation of cancer? There are two cards here. Oh, okay, we'll take that. What's the situation of cancer, please? Let go of the past that hurt. <laughs> What's this, cancer? One second. Oh. 
Any more for Cancer? Cancer Situation Spirit. Cancer Situation Spirit. Okay. Nine of Wands. Uh, okay, Cancer. You are having a hard... You're finding things... We have Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Okay. It's like... You're in between worlds, Cancer. You're trying to stay strong here. Um, and it feels... Things probably feel difficult and heavy for you because you need to continue to work on letting go of the past. The Ten of Swords, it's done. It's over. Um, so continue to consciously think thoughts, not of the past, not of what's missing, not of not of what didn't work out. Um, don't dwell. I feel like you are also needing to decide. I feel you know this. You have to decide a new beginning. We have the Page of Pentacles here, but it's kind of like speak what you want out loud. So I think you're not. You don't. You're not sure about what you want. Seven of Pentacles. So Cancer, you've been through a lot, right? We have double 10 here. You've been through a lot. You've been hurt. You've been burdened. And you are looking forward to a new beginning. You are looking forward to just a fresh start for yourself. But you've also got to do the work. Don't just wait for destiny or, or the stars or, or fate to change things for you. If you want changes, you have to change too. And that's with your mindset um, and your focus. See, we have the fool here in reverse. You can begin again. You can begin again justice it, you don't have to wait for justice you're waiting here for something cancer take control of your life i heard take control of your life what advice do we have for cancer spirit Oh, wow. Okay. This is not an oracle card, but let's see. What else do we have for Cancer Spirit? Cancer. Cancer. Let go. Let go, Cancer. Let go of the past. Let go of any thoughts that, yes, make sense that you were a victim or people hurt you. I'm feeling the emotion of this too, Cancer. But the sun is here and it's ready for you. Now, that's separated from, from reality right i'm emotional <laughs> okay cancer the struggle is over struggle in reverse it's over if you want to enter this new beginning, you have to focus on thoughts, positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Then, 
only then will that connect to your reality. But right now, it is separated from your reality because you are focusing on the dark, on dark thoughts, on the past. But you have to let go. You have to let go. See the past as lessons. Because you have grown so much, Cancer. You've grown so much. You've learned so much about yourself. You have learned lessons about yourself, about what you truly deserve. Oh, I clear the energy. Okay. Any more advice for cancer? Six of swords in reverse. Move on. It's time to move on, cancer. It's time to move on. I'm also getting that um, sometimes you're feel you, you're protective. You're over defensive or over protective of your like it's like you're you're a crab cancer, right? Like but crabs sometimes they crawl out into the water and, and like they don't always stay in the cave. They don't always stay dug up in the sand. You need some air sometimes. You can't stay in your shell all the time. And the sun is waiting. The sun is waiting there for you. How do you bring that into your reality? You think about thoughts. Bright thoughts. Bright thoughts. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Wands again, Wounded Warrior. You've been hurt, Cancer. Ace of Wands in reverse. It's like, Spirit's like saying, how long have you been here and how long do you want to stay here? How long do you want to stay stuck in your situation? How long do you want to just sit and wait and hide away? How long do you want to hide away? Because we have the Ace of Wands, but that's in reverse. Look how much you have a life. You can create a life of passion, creativity, art. You can literally paint a whole new life for yourself, Cancer. And I know it's difficult to let go of the past. And it's difficult to trust. But it's time to move on. Six of Swords, it's time to move on mentally. This is all in your mind. It is all in your mind. Now, let's be practical. It's going to be easier for you to move on by asking yourself, what really is happening in my reality? Is this fair enough to think thoughts like this? What really is happening in my reality? It's just in the mind. If it's not happening in your reality, then it's not real. It's just in your mind. So we can practice to let go of negative thoughts of the past. Let go. Let go. And then a new beginning is waiting for you. Thank you, Spirit. Next, Leo. Leo. Spirit, what do we have for Leo? Hang on a second. Hmm. 
Leo, 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 Leo. Okay. What do we have for Leo? Mutual energies of Leo. Please show me Leo situation. 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 Wow, sun and moon. I'm not saying that, I'm just hearing sun and moon. Leo, Leo situation spirit. Leo situation. Leo situation. There's the moon. Okay, but in reverse. Leo situation. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Two of cups. We have uh, the ten of wands. The ten of wands in reverse and death. So much transformation here. We have death. We have the tower. We have an ending, Ten of Wands, ending of a very, very heavy cycle, a uh, cycle of burden. The moon in reverse, you are starting to shine. I feel like you're starting to, oh, I'm, I'm getting the vibe of like a child, a, a inner child coming out. We have the Six of Cups, this is childlike energy. Um, your inner child. Wants to play. Two of cups. Six of wands in reverse. Six of wands. In reverse. Okay. There's a relationship here as well. Or a partnership of any kind. The moon in reverse, I'm just getting the idea that you are expressing yourself. No, lessons. It's like you're coming back to yourself. There's something here about expression. You haven't yet expressed. Something wants to come out. There's something that wants to come out in your energy, Leo. And it's like, once it does come out, this transformation will happen. We have the tower in reverse, we have death. Transformation, when once something comes out, a transformation will occur, but it hasn't yet. And I feel like it's related to your inner most passions, like to your inner child. It's one of those feelings where you're discovering some new passions that want to come out. Just your, your truth, when some truth wants to come out about what makes you passionate and inspired and motivated. Mm -hmm. What else, Spirit? What else do we have? Okay. Also... For some of you, your your inner child is healing, is in the process of healing some, yeah, some inner child, you're in the process of healing some inner child wounds. And once you do that, I feel like you're very close. I feel like you are there. Once these wounds are healed, acknowledged, addressed, this transformation is going to occur in the 
in the sense that you're going to shine with your inner child essence, like your truest form, your truest self is going to come out after this healing takes place. Yes, that's what's happening. Um, some of the wounds may have stemmed from a partnership or just any relationship. Yeah, you're healing, you're healing. Okay. Any messages for Leo, please, Spirit? Okay. Hang on. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? Leo spirit, Leo, Leo. Okay, what else could this mean? There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. I'm not feeling this card very strongly, but we'll get you another card, okay. There are always multiple ways to look at every situation. So this is for some of you, I feel, not all of you. I feel like this is for some. Our first reaction is usually rooted in our fears and limiting beliefs. Look at a situation today by stepping outside of the trigger and ask, what else could this mean? Some actions you can do. Is there something your soul is calling you to learn in this moment? Or is there a pattern that is ready to be broken? Walk in the other person's shoes and see it from their perspective. If it doesn't involve someone else, ask yourself, how is life happening for me right now? So what else could this mean? Yeah, so if some things that are happening to happening in your life right now is challenging, try to ask yourself the situation try to ask yourself why is this happening what am i learning from this situation okay let's get another card because i really feel like okay, thank you spirit what excuses am i making right now no more waiting there will never be a good enough time the time is now if it's important enough to you you will find a way Today, make a decision and do it even if you don't feel ready. Listen to your heart. You will be led. So there's something about something wants to come out. Some passions want to come out. Like, and once, there's like a, once this happens, then this will occur type of energy here. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you waiting for? No more waiting. No more delaying. Okay, next is the dog. Please clear the energy spirit. Thank you. Thank you, spirit. Please clear the energy. For Virgo. For Virgo. Please show me the most mutual energies of Virgo. What is Virgo's current situation? Ten of Wands in reverse. Wow. What is Virgo's current situation, please? What is Virgo's current situation? What is Virgo's current situation? I'm getting air. Yes, come out. You're, you've released something like, okay. It's like a relief. Virgo, please, Spirit. Virgo's current situation. Anything else?
Okay. The King of Swords in reverse. I heard direction. The Lovers in reverse, the Empress in reverse, Knight of Swords. The Hermit, you're here, but you're in reverse. The, the Hermit in reverse, Ace of Swords in reverse, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Uh, and, you're, and you're anxious, like, you're a little... So you're overthinking about a decision that you need to make. We have the King of Swords here in reverse. About a beginning, there's Ace of Pen Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Empress here. You are here, the, the Hermit, and the Empress is here. Someone important to you. Three of Swords in reverse, Three of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Swords. I'm, I'm getting you have a choice to make, a decision to make. And you're up at night thinking about what to, what about your situation. Just like think, thinking a lot about it. The Empress, someone of importance here. Um, there is some communication. The lovers. Yeah. You're in reverse here. I'm just getting from the guides that this confusion is self made. <laughs> and you are in reverse here, the hermit because you are staying in your head a lot and you're not everyone why is everyone in reverse it's like you're not flowing okay do we have any messages for virgo spirit We have the animal and the self-reflective questions. Make a decision. King of Swords in reverse. You need to clear your mind. What do we have for Virgo? Mastery. Nice, this came out for you. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. You are guided, you gotta soar. And it's one of those feelings where I'm seeing Avatar. <laughs> I'm seeing when the, what's his name? The guy get for the first time gets on, on he has to make a connection with, with the, what, what are they, dragons? Like those, those beings that fly, that they fly on, he has to make the connection. And you are struggling to soar like that. Let, let go of the past. Let go of the past and soar. What else do we have for Virgo? What else do we have for Virgo? Spirit guides. What else do we have for Virgo? Speak up. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse. You are in. Speak up.
Am I communicating my needs? Your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that what you are fearing is not true? What you can do about this? Journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter or do I share them with others? Do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs? You are... Um, What is this? <laughs> I feel Virgo, you're already in the position of mastery, of maturity, of so much wisdom. So don't stay small, don't don't play small. Express your brilliance. Express it all. Tarot advice? Tarot advice for Virgo, please, Spirit. What advice do we have for Virgo? What advice do we have for Virgo? Be confident. Okay. What advice do we have for Virgo? Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Pentacles. I heard like three of Wands. I feel like you have so many things on your on your plate. I'm getting the idea that you will feel confident when there's like you need the things that are wasting your time, the things that are not really giving reaping any rewards or there's just some things you can let go of, Virgo just simplify I, i'm getting as well simplify minimize uh minimalist <laughs> your life minimalist your life and you will start to feel confident um wow um, i'm feeling an energy here some of this is related to demands placed on you, people needing something from you, whatever, whatever. Simplify your life by letting go or not allowing clutter. I'm just getting clutter. There's clutter. And maybe that's why your, your mind space is in this, is, is like this right now. So, yeah, what else is here for, for Virgo? So there, there's, a, there's some advice here that you got to clear, clear your mind by clearing up your space. And that will help you feel a little bit more stable and confident within yourself. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. And you can also clear some energies by expressing yourself, your true self. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clear the energy, please. Let's clear the energy, please.
Libra. Spirit, please show me. Show me most neutral energies of Libra. What is Libra's situation, please? Please show me what is Libra's situation. Please show me Libra's situation. I'm getting the word virtue. Uh, Libra. Oh, okay. the devil in reverse here. Libra spirit guides. Libra. Libra situation. <laughs> this is the first time I saw it. Okay. What is this? Any more? Any more, Libra? Any more for Libra? Oh my God. Okay. Um, some fears here. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords in reverse. There's, um, there's something in your life that is not emotionally fulfilling. Um, and you're also in, a, you're also feeling like you don't know what to do, what to say, but you are feeling. Ten of Swords in reverse. Magician, the moon, the hangman in reverse. Um, Libra, there are some fears in your energy. It's like I feel like there's something you want to do. It's just, this is an example of, of this energy. It's it's like there's something you want to do, but there are fears holding you back. Now, these fears might be something like limiting beliefs or caring about what people think or not being sure if it will affect someone, hurt someone, or you're, you're saying the right things. Will you, like, maybe it's also a fear of how you, maybe status, how you would come across, what people, what are these fears? Please show me these fears, spirit. I really feel like checking. What are the fears? See, look, I'm cool. <laughs> okay, what are the fears? Okay. Just show me this, these fears. Wow, it's it. I don't know. It's like there's something you're feeling a new energy, but you're also fearful about it. It's like something is being offered to you, or there is an opportunity that you are starting to that, that you're you are being faced with, but. But why are you thinking about the negatives? Why are you? What are these fears of Libra? And now the Queen of Swords. Libra, you don't want to be restricted. Wow. Ooh.
It's like you want to do what you want to do. Okay. It's like you have a new opportunity or there's a new cycle or whatever, some new situation in your life right now. Something is presenting itself. And your fears about the situation is you don't want to be restricted. You don't want to be told what to do. You want to do things your way. You want to be yourself. You want to... The Empress came out for you as well. Like, that's you. So, okay, okay, it's not a bad thing. The magician is here. But the magician is surrounding the moon and the ten of swords. Okay. Okay, Libra. I commend you for knowing how you want things to be in your life. But I'm also getting some advice here from the spirit. Yeah, if it's a if it's a no, if you don't feel like, then you don't feel like, and that's fine. Nobody's forcing you to say yes. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. But also, I'm getting. See, like I I feel like you have a decision to make too. Because yeah, I started with you don't know what to do. You don't know what to say. Um. I'm also getting that if you're clear about how you want things to be, if you're clear about what you want to be doing, that's all that matters. And yeah, you have full say, you have every say about how and what happens in your life. And how you choose to move forward is all, I feel like, yeah, this is a very, it's up to you. It's up to you. What do we want for Libra? Okay, we'll get you a monology, Libra. Libra, spirit, anything for Libra? Anything for Libra? Anything for Libra? <laughs> so this is not clear. But it says the answers you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini, the answers you need are coming. Decisions, decisions. Gemini is about decisions. Yeah, I'm getting one of those like, okay, you have a contract you're, you need to sign. And you, you want to be sure that everything will, you're aligned with everything before you sign it. So the answers you need are coming, just wait. All you have to do is sit in confidence about what you want and how you want things to be. Communication is key as well. And this is double Gemini. Like, this is just like, this is, <laughs> this is a bad batch, okay? I bought a bad batch of cards, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, before you make this decision, Gemini, You have Gemini energy around you. See, I'm scratching my eye right now. Uh, clarity will come, but clarity also, you if you want clarity, you also have to be clear about the reality that you are going to step into and that you're willing to step into. So clarity both ways need to be expressed and will, and will. I feel like, yeah. It's fine. And you don't have to operate in, in a state of fear. We have the devil in reverse. You don't have to be fearful about it. It's like one of those like paranoid when nothing really like you have. You're the one with the pen <laughs> before you sign the contract. So don't worry. If you just express yourself. Okay. Any tarot advice for, for Jen? Gem Why do I keep saying Gemini? You might be dealing with a Gemini or someone who has Gemini placements or you might have gem Gemini placements. Doesn't really matter. Okay, tarot advice for Gem For Libra. Strong Gemini energy in your field right now, Libra. And I think it's just because you're in the midst of making a, an important decision. Libra, 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 Spirit. Mm 
Libra Spirit. Things are going to happen fast. Um, what do we have for Libra? Spirit, what do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. The lovers in reverse. Yeah, that's a choice. Yeah. Um, be clear about a direction that you would like to head. Yeah. You write it down. I'm getting the advice over here, Libra, that you need to write it down so that you can have clarity. Write down everything. That's the clarity, right? Write down your wants, your needs, your requirements, your essentials, your limitations, your boundaries, what you're willing to give, what you're willing to invest, what you're willing, what you, ex your expectations, everything, write it all down. The sun clarity here. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, and then things, I feel like things will start to pick up once you have this clarity. So don't, don't be afraid. I feel like you need a notebook and a pen. You need a notebook and a pen right now. Because right now, everything is like, in your head and it's like oh but what if oh but you know like paranoia thoughts like oh my so write it so like get a pen and paper okay and be clear about it, how you would like your life to be how, exactly how it should be how you want it to be thank you please clear the energy spirit thank you spirit scorpio Scorpio, what do we have for Scorpio? Most mutual energies of Scorpio, please show me. Um, show me Scorpio's situation, please, Spirit. Show me Scorpio's situation, please, Spirit. For Scorpio, please show me Scorpio's situation right now. Thank you, Spirit. Please show me Scorpio's situation. Command. Okay. Command. Very strong individuals here. But I, why did I hear not? But <laughs> I just heard not so strong. Huh? Okay. Wait, wait. Just give me a sec. Taurus and Cancer energy. Okay, there's something about what do you care about? There's something about hmm, the High Priestess. It's like, it's like your expectations, okay, and what you care about. What makes you happy and makes you feel safe and secure. Oh, 
hearing be careful what you care about because you also have expectations, right? You have expectations here, Scorpio, and sometimes you can fall in in a hole where your your <laughs> your emotions and your expectations yeah it's they sometimes don't align what do you care about i'm getting that so much what do you care about okay um Communicate your expectations if you truly care about this. If you truly have, you care about something. Communicate your expectations. See if this is something that you can commit to. If this, if there is real, some, like, be realistic as well. We want to balance realist realism your realistic side and expectations as well as because you're when you care you're intense <laughs> scorpio when you care you are so passionate yeah but the chariot is in reverse here so the direction of your expectations oh two of cups in reverse communicate your expectations scorpio what else do we have for scorpio i feel like there's more they want me to pull from this what else spirit for scorpio there's something about balance you need balance Scorpio, there's balance here that is imbalance. There is an imbalance between your head and your heart, Scorpio. Um, yes. But it's all good. It's all good. I feel like this is more future energies, more like be careful energies. What else do we have for Scorpio spirit? What do we have for Scorpio, please, Spirit? After a setback, find a place where you feel completely safe, where you can relax, ref reflect, and renew your desire and courage to face the world again. I feel like getting another one. Yeah, I strongly feel like getting another one. So... <laughs> Take a step back here because something is imbalanced in your energy. And you need to reflect, relax first. First relax and reflect and renew your desire. Like what, the, what does that mean? Renew your desire. Be clear about your expectations. Like, and then communicate it. Encourage to face the world again. Like, let's get more, please, spirit. Can we? Elaborate for Scorpio, please, Spirit. What do we have for Scorpio? What do we have for Scorpio? There's I'm getting something about about keys. Keys. Keys to your heart. Key, keys to your heart. Give of yourself to help those in need, but stay true to your own needs as well. Don't work so hard that you neglect your own health, and don't give so much that you compromise 
your own boundaries. So if the imbalance is in give and take, you will start to feel uncomfortable in your body, in your mind, and in your emotions when Okay, this is, this is very important. This is what I realized recently, Scorpio. It is very toxic how most of us were raised and conditioned to believe that we should give, 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 and how it's bad to receive. That is not nature. And how that is not nature, just as we inhale, we take, we also give, we exhale. Nature is an equal give and take. And when you care about something, Scorpio, you give it your all. You are a very all or nothing sometimes, maybe, maybe, some of you, not all of you. But there is some advice here. Be clear in your expectations. But so, be, and so if you're feeling un uncomfortable subconsciously, that is your intuition, the high priestess, telling you that we need to fill up this bucket. We need to fill up our cup too. So just as you give, be sure that you are able to take and receive as well. That's nature. It's not bad to receive okay anything else show me some tarot advice please for scorpio spirit okay <laughs> that's different they told me choose any deck it doesn't matter which deck <laughs> wow okay Scorpio, please, spirit. For Scorpio, please, spirit. For Scorpio, please. Huh, the keys to your heart, yeah. Just when you care, Scorpio, don't leave the doors to your heart open for anyone to just come in, you know? People got to have some the keys to your heart. Scorpio spirit. What, you don't have advice? Advice? Yeah, see, they're like, choose any deck, it doesn't matter. Huh? Okay. The lovers in reverse. Show me more, please, spirit. It's tempting. Something is tempting, Scorpio. Yeah, I already know what their advice is. But just one more. Something is tempting for you to care about, Scorpio. But in this decision that you make about, will I continue to care about this? Will I give to this? Should I continue to give to this? Put yourself in this equation. Put yourself in the equation. It's not only about what can you give, who is this person, who I'm caring about. It's also you. What's in it for you? Equal. Equal. Like, it just needs to be balanced. That's it. Yeah, balance, right? I said that. Scorpio spirit. Scorpio. Um, slowing down, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups. Be careful what you care about. Slow down. 
slow down the intensity. Slow down. Remember your commands, your expectations. I don't know. <sighs> it's also kind of like a test, right? Like you're you're tempted to go all in and be passionate about something, to fully care about something. But let's do it realistically. There is a strong emphasis here about realistically. Let's be real about this dynamic. And for you to do that, just think long-term wise. Think long-term wise. That's how to get rid of temptations. Think long-term. Okay. Please clear the energy spirit. Thank you. Please clear the energy spirit. Do we want to take a break? I just need to grab some water. So just give me two secs, literally two secs. Okay. Clear the energy, please. Sagittarius. Saggy. Spirit, please link me to Sag. Sag Collective. What are the most mutual energies of Sag? Please show me Sagittarius current energy. Yeah, you know, the devil was like, okay. The devil came out twice just now. Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius situation. Sagittarius situation. There's something about a box or shapes, but I'll I'll see. Sagittarius, Ace of Wands, Sagittarius, Spirit, Sagittarius situation right now, Sagittarius situation right now, Sagittarius situation right now. With chariot in reverse. There's okay, it's something about equal. Um Are the people in your life, the people you're surrounded by right now, how are they helping you to grow? Are they exciting you? Are they your circle? Your circle. No, the shapes is coming. Your inner circle, there's something about your circle. Are they good for you? Do they help you to grow? Are they supportive? Do they give ideas that inspire you and help you stay excited and motivated in life? The devil again. Or are you surrounded by toxic people? 
Are you standing in your power where you take no shit? I think you are trying. I think you're trying. I think you're trying politely. But is that gonna, yeah, okay. The Knight of Wands. Your boundaries. need to be heard. It's just one of those feelings like, you, you have an opportunity to be motivated and inspired, but check your circle, check the people around you. Are they, they, are they giving you that? Are you also expressing your need for that? where you are able to have conversations, productive, constructive conversations with these people? Or are you just, is it just noisy? And then because we have the devil, we have the human wands. Yeah, you see, okay. Okay. Confidence. I'm getting here. Um, sad G. That. You, just be confident. Just be confident. Because I'm getting something like teamwork. I'm just getting something like you're working with people. So this, this might be the people you work with or your, the people you live with, your surroundings on a daily basis, or friends, and you need to be the confident one. I feel like your confidence is needs work because we have the chariot in reverse and then right be below him is the devil. So there might be someone toxic. There might be why am I hearing there might be a rat? Like, there might be a rat. <laughs> what else for Sagittarius spirit? What do we want to tell Sagittarius? Okay, the rebel deck. But I think some is someone jealous of you? I don't know. Is there somebody who's trying to step over your power? Somebody is not... Someone is dimming your light and spirit is saying, don't. <laughs> Just check your circle. That's it. Check your circle. We're not feeling this, but we're not feeling this spirit. What? Stop it. You look like a shit show. <laughs> Just be confident, Sag. Just be confident. Let's see. For Sagittarius spirit, what do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? <laughs> what do we have for Sag? What does Sag need to know? What does Sagittarius need to know? Yeah, we're feeling this. Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. It's not like, I think there's someone in your circle who is, I don't know, intentionally or unintentionally, okay? Maybe subconsciously. Not letting, not allowing you to feel confident about yourself. So that's why it's getting in your head. And stop it, like... No, you have the power. You have the power. That's what Spirit's saying. 
Yeah, you are the best thing to ever happen to you. This is saying... Don't let people dim your light. Sagittarius. I don't know. I really feel like there's maybe a narc, okay? There's someone around you, Sag, who's maybe... There's like gaslighting. It's gaslighting where you're confused. Like, yeah, when they say something, it makes sense. Logically, it makes sense. But then it's also making you question your your value and just the your truth when you're when you speak up and don't when you know something is true and when something feels true don't let someone dismiss it or turn it down like yeah really really that's what i'm getting any more advice for for sag yeah don't let a gaslighter or a narc confuse you don't don't they and i know how far i can get the right people are people who acknowledge what you have to say take into account everything you have to say they do not dismiss your feelings they are considerate they are equal and they're not all about themselves okay Sag show me some more advice please for Sagittarius spirit Sagittarius, please, spirit. What advice do we have for Sag? The Hierophant, speak up for yourself. You are also very wise. I'm getting that, Sagittarius. So don't question it. If you feel like you have a point, I feel like you have a point. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see, it's like, yeah, I feel like you have a point, but people are turning down your point. No, don't. Smart people are open-minded. Ignorant people are closed-minded. And open-minded people listen to everything. They consider every point of view. Shall we? Advice for Sagittarius. Show me advice for Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups in Rivers. Show me advice for Sagittarius. Please, Spirit, for Sag. For Sag, Spirit. That's why the devil kept coming up. Don't allow it, Sag. Don't allow it. Sagittarius spirit. What do we have for Sagittarius? I'm hearing, um, listen to yourself. I'm hearing like you, you know, you already know. Because I'm getting some energy from the guides that they don't have to tell you. You already know. And this is for you to build your confidence. Is that you don't need to be told what to do. You don't need to be told what to do. You already know. Oh, wow. That's so profound, Spirit. Okay. Wow. Yeah. For Sag. See, they don't want to. Anyway, one card came out. Two of Cups. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Two of Cups in reverse. Um, this is... Equal give and take. This is a, a relationship that's, let's see, if you split this card in half, it pretty much looks the same. 
the cups are filled just exactly the same. It's it's the same. And so it's in reverse though. Evaluate your relationships and the people around you, your circle, your circle, who you hold hands with, who you your the dynamics are in your life. You already know who's toxic, who's not, who's playing mind games. Yeah. And you're, you're smart enough. You don't need people to tell you what to do. I feel like there is someone around you who's telling you what to do. Who's, and you're lonely about it. You're lonely about it. But no, don't allow it. Don't allow people to make you feel guilty about being yourself. That's it. So spirit doesn't even want to tell you what to do. Because spirit's trying to tell you to honor your inner knowing and yourself. That's how you become confident. That's like yeah okay okay thank you spirit please clear the energy no capricorn capricorn i'm so sorry for missing your sign last round please clear the energy for capricorn please spirit what do we have for capricorn i feel like you're tired Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm. Okay. Please show me the most mutual energies of Capricorn spirit. What is the situation of Capricorn collective? What is the situation of Capricorn collective? What is the situation of Capricorn collective? One card came out again. Oh. oh, Capricorn. What is the situation with Capricorn Collective? There is um, light at the end of the tunnel, there is um, a bright side to this. See the fool, but it's in reverse. Mm. More spirit, please give me energies of Capricorn. I heard, how are you going to deal with challenging situations? So, um, some of you are going through a tough time. I don't know what the circumstances are, but there is a emotion, an emotionally challenging time here. And and we have judgment here you are being watched by your spirit guides by your higher self by your angels by your conscience wow some air so when you come out of this situation capricorn you're gonna learn something new or you're even just gonna feel St stronger like it's kind of like a relief it's kind of like a, i'm glad i'm glad we survived that or i'm glad i'm glad it's over type of a feeling um where you are going to appreciate your life all the more because you have survived a situation that was very challenging it's going to you 
you can't see it yet. There's there's something to look forward. There definitely is something here to look forward to. We have the Nine of Cups and we have the Eight of Wands. Right now you're feeling challenged, but um, something is heading your way. Something you something that will help will make you happy. Something that will give you a break. I don't hear it. Give you a break. Something that will make you happy and it's heading your way. But that depends on how are you going to handle the emperor in reverse. Challenging situations. How are you going to handle challenging situations? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, um, and judgment. So, think of it like the angels are watching. You're going to learn something. Now, maybe it's your health, okay? Maybe you're being challenged by your health. Maybe you're being challenged by a relationship. So maybe you're being challenged by emotions um, or circumstances, maybe financially. But if you look at the positive, Look at what you've got right now versus what you've lost or what's not comfortable right now. If you know anything about the Five of Cups, Capricorn, there there are three cups that spilled, yes, but there are two cups still standing, right? And there's light at the end of the tunnel. The tunnel is right there, right there, right there. Right. And there, um, there are two cups still standing. There's something here for you if you keep a positive mind yeah, the ace of swords if you're open to everything happens for a reason to the thought of that yeah i'm getting the I'm visualizing a marathon and at the end of the marathon yeah you're huffing and puffing but they got water there for you, <laughs> cold water, you know? And it feels like that. It feels like drinking cold water after a long ass marathon. There's relief, there will be relief. And that's why the fool is here in reverse. What else do we have to say for Capricorn? Okay, angel answers. What would you like to tell Capricorn spirit? I think you're tired. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just tired. <laughs> What's this? Because my, my hands are, are uh, vibrating, tingling. My hands are... Okay. Clear the energy. What do we have for Capricorn spirit? What do we have for Capricorn spirit? Capricorn. What do we have for Capricorn? Push through. Be assertive. Be assertive. I heard that cheerleading sound was that be aggressive. Be be aggressive, aggressive. Push through. Um, be positive, be, see it as a phase in your life, a chapter in your life. It's, it's, um, it's temporary. Um, I'm seeing that card is just be positive. Be positive. Be positive. And I know it's not easy right now. I know it's not easy right now, but Spirit said something is coming your way. 
Something will be a reward. There is cold water at the end of this. Okay. Uh, some tarot advice. We need to get some tarot advice for Capricorn spirit. Some tarot advice for Capricorn, please, spirit. You're so tired, Capricorn. Hang on, I need some air. Because I feel so challenged right now. I hope you can hear me. This is noise canceling anyway. Okay. Advice for Capricorn, please, spirit. Advice for Capricorn. For some of you, there's illness. Because my hands are so weird. Okay. Advice for Capricorn, please. Advice for Capricorn, please. What would you like Capricorn to know, spirit? They're watching. They, they said they're watching. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, some of you are working too much. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, one second. Five of Swords, comparison. Nine of Swords, sorrow. Uh, yeah, completion. It's so challenging, Capricorn, and it makes it harder. Like, yes, there's your outer reality. There's the physical reality where circumstances are happening right now. And then there is your emotional body, and then there is your mental body. Now you are in control mostly of your mental body. Not, yes, you're in control of your emotions, but the thing is, if you remain positive about the situation where there is light at the end of the tunnel, it will make your emotional, your emotions and your physical reality and the circumstances around you. If you think positive thoughts that I'm going to grow from this, there's light at the end of the tunnel, there is, there is something good that's going to come out of this. Your emotions and everything else will be easier for you. So try not to obsess in your mind. About, um, about how stressful this situation is. I feel like the finish line is near. Completion. The last piece of the puzzle. And this is, this is like, this is like a situation that you need to go through to put the pieces, this is you, this is you, to I'm just getting like, put the piece, like put the pieces back together again, like just to rebuild yourself. It's like strengthening yourself. It's like there is a purpose there is a purpose to all of this. Is that it, Spirit? Yeah, that's it. That's it. You know what? I want to get you an oracle. <laughs> I missed your sign in the last one, so. Can we get a message for Capricorn Spirit? Can we get a message for Capricorn Collective, please? Thank you. Build within the confidence to know when you're right, the strength to admit when you're wrong, 
the ability to give to others without resentment and give to yourself without guilt. Um, this is something about what you deserve. I don't know, don't work too hard. I feel like you have to be there for yourself and you have to be there for others as well. But when you know that you have to be there for yourself, it's okay. It's okay as well. Mm -hmm. Um, don't be guilty about it's like you're weak right now physically or whatever or you don't there's something you can't physically do or provide or but don't be guilty if you're not in a position to you're tired right yeah don't Just think, just think equal, like think. I'm really getting tired. <laughs> just think thoughts that as I give, I also need to recharge. As I work, I also need to rest. So balance your life and your daily tasks and your thoughts that way. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, clear the energy. Please, please clear the energy. Capricorn, Aquarius. Aquarius, Spirit. Aquarius, please connect me to Aquarius. What are the most mutual energies of Aquarius? What are the, oh. what are the most mutual energies of Aquarius? Show me Aquarius situation. Please show me Aquarius situation. Um. There's a message here about your power. Please show me the situation of Aquarius spirit. What is Aquarius situation right now? Okay. What is Aquarius situation right now? I, uh, I'm getting like a tug of war, tug of war energy. Hang on a second. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a tug of war energy here. Aquarius. Okay, what is the situation of Aquarius, please, Spirit? I heard trying my best. Aquarius spirit. Mm. What is the situation of Aquarius? What is the situation of Aquarius? What is the situation of Aquarius? More? more show me aquarius hmm. 
Yeah, it's really like you're trying your best. Mm. Okay. It's like Aquarius, it's like you are plotting and, and structuring how to be versus just being. It's like you are trying your best to mold. Let's 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 put an example. So so you're trying to cook something, right? And the way you usually let's say bake cheesecake. It's, cheesecake is what I'm getting. You make cheesecake for yourself every single week. You have your own recipe and then you have visitors, they come over and you're like, okay, I'm gonna make cheesecake for them. They requested for cheesecake. Why are you reading the recipe of Cheesecake Factory and trying your best to put up a face or to put up, it's not you, that's not your recipe. So it's something is not coming from the heart. You are trying hard. And you're that in that way, you don't feel seen because you are not showing your truest self. <laughs> I just visualized that they didn't enjoy the cheesecake. <laughs> okay. I mean. Aquarius. I feel like you're tired of, I feel like you're tired of not expressing what you truly want, or also you're tired of not getting what you want. It's like your heart really wants something. It's like you really just need some emotional support as well as what I'm getting. You need some emotional support. Um, I'm hearing from the guides, but it's also difficult for someone to support you. If Wait, hang on. Now, I was going to say, if you're not expressing what you want, what's in your heart, but I'm also getting an energy that you're not, you don't really know what you want. Maybe you don't know what you want at this very moment. I feel like you know you want something, but you don't know what you want. Okay, yeah, I know this situation. Yeah, Ace of Wands in reverse. What do you want? Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, yeah. You want to you want to build something. You want a, a sense of belonging, a sense of safety. There's step one. There is the challenge of knowing what you want, and then there's step two, expressing what you want, and then there's step three, being who you gotta be to get what you want. And you're stuck in the middle of this. But you are all the more stuck. We have the hanged man here in reverse. You are all the more stuck. And because you're not making it easy on yourself by not allowing your truest self to come out to the surface and to be expressed. Especially emotionally. Queen of Cups in reverse, Four of Cups. Now it's coming out in your emotions where maybe you might be crying, maybe you might feel frustrated, maybe you might be ticked off easily, irritated easily at the people around you. And this is because something is wanting to express itself. That is because your intuition is not even knocking, it's like banging on your 
hearts doors like yeah that's your situation can i please get some more <laughs> messages for now you might be dealing with an, a scorpio because i heard scorpio or you might have scorpio placements or the person you're dealing with might have scorpio placements And then I also think that you want to transform. You want to transform or you need to transform. See, I never shuffle this, but I'm, I'm shuffling it. I don't know why. I'm just going to go with it. So. Something is changing. It's like you it's like you don't really have a choice but to change. Okay, for Scorp Ugh, for Scorpio, no, no. Yeah, you have a Scorpio around you. There's, or in your energy, or you are a Scorpio. There is a Scorpio in your energy. Or Scorpio is also death in the tarot. So take it how it resonates. For Aquarius, please, what messages do we have for Aquarius? What messages do we have for Aquarius? What messages do we have for Aquarius? I heard I don't know what to do. There's really frustration. Um, Aquarius, the answers you need are coming. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Now, these answers that you need that are coming are, what do I want? What do you want, Scorpio? There is a Scorpio in your energy. There is a Scorpio in your energy. <laughs> Aquarius, Aqua, you got to be sure about what you want. And it's coming. Um, you just don't know yet. You're not clear. It's not that you don't know. I feel like you're just not clear about what you want. And you're not clear just because of the details and the circumstances and what it takes and what it involves and whatever. You're thinking about the logistics, I feel. Yeah, you're thinking about the logistics. Forget about that right now. The answers you need are coming because it's knocking, it's banging on your door. It's banging on your door. And listen to your intuition. Listen to your reactions. Listen to what's happening right now within you, not outside you, within you. What is happening within you? And then start to reflect on the questions about, um, is this real? Is this authentic? Am I expressing myself authentically? Let's think real thoughts. Real, I just, not, I heard deceive, like undeceiving thoughts. You're going to sit with yourself anyway. The answers you need are coming. Take time to breathe out. Take time to breathe out. Yeah. Any tarot advice for Aquarius? For Aquarius spirit. For Aquarius, what do we have for Aquarius? Wow, there, um, what do we have for Aquarius, please? It's like they want to comfort you. Seven of Cups in reverse, Wheel of Fortune, and the High Priestess. So things are changing with the Wheel of Fortune. 
It is going to be in your favor so long as you listen to your intuition, the high priestess. Seven of Cups. Try not to be overwhelmed by your current situation and reality right now. Ace of Wands. The answers you need are coming because... I feel like you're going to discover some, like something is going to come your way. Now, I don't know, a sign, okay? Or a person will tell you something or you see something on TV or there's going to be something that will help you to realize and spark, spark something in your ass. <laughs> no, I'm just getting that. Like set, a, set, set you in, on fire again to, be, to feel inspired inspired and motivated about your life what about what you want this thing you've been craving for a sense of inspiration a sense of passion for life you will have a speck or a hint or a glimpse or a sign of this catch it so take time to breathe out to be in that energy listen to your intuition the high priestess the wheel of fortune this change is coming and it'll be in your favor. So what you can do for now is not to be overwhelmed and not to let things get the, in, get the better of you. Don't allow things to get the better of you. No matter what's happening right now, don't allow the circumstances to drive you insane right now. You are being moved for a reason. You have to experience this emotion right now for a reason. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Let's clear the energy. Let's clear the energy. Pisces. Oh, Knight of Cups. Pisces. Spirit, link me to Pisces Collective. What do we have for Pisces? Most mutual energies of Pisces. What is the current situation of Pisces? <laughs> Pisces, Spirit. Pisces situation now. What is Pisces situation now? Crossroads. Just getting crossroads. Something about an X. Hmm. Cross mm -hmm. Pisces situation now. Okay, so it stopped. Nine of Pentacles. What the heck? Pisces, what the heck? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, Justice, and Empress, and Ace of Pentacles. So something that happened in the past that wasn't fair, you're doing something about it. I feel like you're in a very self-love, self-care trip. Um, you're just putting effort into something here and taking something day by day, really focusing on building a new reality for yourself and turning things around. Wow. Are you building a business too? Like, do you have a project? Ten of Cups in reverse. You are working on, you're definitely working on something here, but, but with self-love, with like so much compassion for yourself. 
um, where what's in your mind is when I build this, it's a, it's about your abundance. It's about like, you just want to be abundant and that's perfect because you are in the energy of, of self-worth here. You are working on self-worth and you are also expecting uh, worthiness from something you are building. Uh, you're, uh, there's something about generosity. What What is this? You're healing too. Your heart is really open, Pisces, but mm. not not to everyone. <laughs> I'm really getting that. Not for everyone. Um, that's why that's why justice is in, is in reverse. I feel like I really need to see more because I'm not, I don't feel like I have the full picture. Show me more spirit, please. Show me more about the situation. It's a very soft energy. Like you're taking care of yourself. I mean, you're just relaxing. You're relaxing, but you're also working on something for your self-worth. for abundance. Show me more for Pisces. So not everything is easy, though. Um, yeah, five of wands. Um, there's there are definitely still challenges as you build something for yourself, as you're doing something here. There are still challenges. It's not easy flowing, which is okay because it's life. But I love how there's so much focus. You're focused though. You're so, I'm feeling so present. I'm feeling so dreamy too, but it's like, you're very, there's the divine, we have the divine feminine here. You are very much in your feminine energy because right now you're in a very present energy. Now, when it comes to building these things, I feel like your masculine energy might not be balanced <laughs> because there are challenges here. I'm, you know what? I gotta be honest. I'm feeling on un un there's unclared un you're not clear. You're not entirely clear about something. You're not entirely clear about something. What is Pisces not clear? What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? You're not entirely clear about something. This is Ace of Swords in reverse. The King of Cups in oh. Now you're mixing emotion, your relationships with work here. Okay, I'm just straight up. I'm gonna put this energy out right away. 
maybe you're using work as a distraction to there is there is a romantic there is somebody who has a hold of your emotions right now and you are deliberately ignoring <laughs> this individual or these people and you are working on yourself you're doing your thing you are doing you now that's beautiful and i don't really have anything to say about that but like but that person these people they're bothering you at the back of your mind that you are this effort is also you are trying hard to not think about it so it's not really like there's still some you're forcing yourself not to care, but you do. I want to get your tarot advice right now. It's something that, like, something was not fair. Something happened in the past. You're consciously trying to focus on your present moment right now and how to move forward, which is great. But let's remember that as much as you try your best to ignore what's happening at the back of your mind, there's something in your subconscious mind that has not been dealt with, that it does not have closure. Don't let that grow. Don't let that grow. Advice. For Pisces, I heard nip it in the bud. Okay, advice for Pisces. So don't ignore, this is a form of escapism, Pisces. Like, it's beautiful. You're doing you, you're working on something for yourself, you know, you're standing yourself forward, you're, you're thinking about what you deserve, that's beautiful. But as long as there's something bothering you in your mind, um, it's gonna eat, eat, eat you up like in your mind and it's just gonna grow. And it's like, I just got this saying, you know that stupid saying like time heals? It's a lie. Because if time heals, what are inner child wounds? What are all these wounds we all have to heal, right? That the collective is working so hard to heal, right? And that surfaces, that will always surface. So don't rely on time will heal because that's a load of bullshit. Yes, you are healing yourself, but there is a situation that happened. There, you, you, should, you should heal that too. You should find ways to bring closure to it too. You should also find answers of what did I learn from it? Okay, I understand why it happened. Why did why did this cross my path? Like these these questions you gotta ask yourself. Um, until you accept the situation for what it is. If you still don't consciously and subconsciously accept what happened, it is going to linger in your energy and come out in everything you do, as well as your self-worth. Okay. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. Advice for Pisces. So 
Um, <laughs> who are your friends? It's like a group of friends and you don't feel seen, you don't feel special around them. And it's not fair, so something's not fair, okay? Take back your power. It's like they took your confidence away with them or this person took their confidence away, this person or, or these friends. Maybe someone betrayed you, whatever, something like that. But they took your confidence away with them. Why did you let them take your, your confidence away with them? So when you gave a part of yourself to them, ask yourself, when I gave to these people, what was I expecting? Why did I give? Why did I give in the way that I did for them? For me to feel like they took something or for me, for me to feel, so was I giving with expectation? Or like, I mean, these are very personal. You have your own questions to ask, right? I don't know your situation, but it's something about you overgave and it took a piece of you. It took a, a piece of you away. And you got to ask questions around that. About. What was I expecting? So there are still some some answers you need to discover and lessons you need to learn from that situation. Pisces. Also probably question as well, what was I giving? Probably question. There's something about your intentions of giving and receiving that you need to be clear about that will lead to that will lead to answers about yourself about about yourself which is the bigger picture of everything that happens in people's lives right you got to unravel these these lessons life lessons so that you can move forward with ease i mean you're trying right now but there's still a, a, a string or a thread that's pulling you back and as much as you try to ignore it it's not going to you're not you can try some oracle advice for Pisces spirit. Yeah. For Pisces spirit, please. What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? What do we have for Pisces? Pisces Collective. You know what? I'm already getting maybe the way that you gave or expected to these people or to this person is related to your relationship with your parents. That's just for some of you, but that's something that hit me hard. It is related to how you have learned to give and receive by your parents and it being reflected in these in these and then because it didn't happen in the way that you expected you feel like it's not fair because that's the only thing you know but you know i don't know take <laughs> take it if it resonates you know your story pisces spirit pisces please spirit what do we have for pisces what do we have for pisces thank you spirit uh, how can I surrender even more in this moment? How can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential 
to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Know this so deeply that your soul vibrates, that you are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. So your mantra is, I surrender, I accept all that I cannot change, I release the outcome, and I joyfully trust the process. So you don't have to be forcing building something or forcing something right now. You can just surrender. Yeah, I guess in the meantime, be clear about how do we do this? About your intentions of what you desire and also equally about outcomes, about outcomes, right? How can I surrender even more in this moment? So there's this advice from spirit, like take a step back, take a step back. Stop focusing on working or doing something right now. Um, there is some unfinished business and something is going to come for you to, for you to realize the purpose of it. The purpose of this, of the emotions you're feeling right now and the thoughts you're having in your head. So it's all good. It's all good. Take it easy. Let's see. I think that's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. Thank you for watching, guys, to the end. I hope it resonated and I hope it helped. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, Aries. Hi, Steve. Hi, Reese. Thanks for tuning in. Bye, guys.